Hello, I'm Alex Lafkis, and now I'm going to talk to you about the keys to getting a good hook set. So, this is where most people fail, especially wade fishermen who are now getting in a boat to streamer fish. And th this is what I want to talk to, how to do it in a boat. This is where people have issues. The first step to a good hook set is a good tight line cast, okay? You want tension throughout your presentation. Okay, so you cast, it's a little sloppy. Now we got to get to tension, so strip, 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 get tight first steps either you cast with a tight line or you get your fly tight and what i mean by getting your fly tight is so when you finally strip hard on your fly the fly makes a hard dart not where it just kind of moves a little that's just adjusting the slack in the line you want to see that fly dart okay now you've got tension now fish comes whatever fish eats most people have a tendency to really snap into the rod as quick as they can sometimes that'll work That'll work on smaller fish. It usually does not work on bigger fish. The key to is you're having tension in here. And, and a lot of it has to do with rod position throughout the presentation. You want the rod tip pointing where the line is entering the water. Okay, don't point where the fly is. We're not worried about that. Point where the line's in the water. That's going to allow you to get tighter quicker when you start on your strip set. Okay, you don't want to go against that belly. You have a belly for, formed with the tension on the water in the line. And the second you try to go to the upstream like this, if you're casting to this right side, you, you're messing up your belly, you're throwing slack into it, you're putting an angle into it where you're never going to hook a fish. So, the rod has to stay here. And you strip and strip. So your rod is pointed down to where the line enters the water. We strip, and once we get tension and feel that fish, then we can start easing into the rod. The rod never comes up. I never put the line up into the air. That's a soft, light wire hook, dry fly set to hold a fish and let them run. This is rod low and continue to strip. Loading the rod. Brown trout don't go on screaming runs. We run heavy line fishing these fish 98% of the time. Stand on. Pull on. Brown trout want to dog you. You might have to give to them a little. They might take a foot of line on occasion and let them bulldog you. Then pull back on them. You know, there's very few occasions where you hook a brown that's going to scream you out there and run. It happens on occasion, but typically, if you're running 15 pound test, you hook a big one, it's eight, maybe nine pounds. You've got serious power out there. So, you can stand on those fish. You don't want to pull hooks. You don't break anything off. A lot of times you don't straighten hooks, but by putting too much tension on that fish, you're going to pull a hook on occasion. And every once in a while, you'll hook a big brown, and once you get them, they'll bulldog a little, and they're going to go for a hard run. That's sometimes where you have to give to them a little. You know, and you might have to reach towards them, shoot a foot of line out towards them, whatever. It's usually not that much. You can usually stay on them, and then you continue to strip, strip, and work the fish around the boat or the motor or the bow or whatever it is to land them in. If you're in the back, you kind of just keep on that fish and try to steer them right into the rower seat, okay? It all starts from tension and a strip set. So what you don't understand if you're used to wade fishing is that the boat is moving so much faster towards the fish or towards the fly that you're going to have slack. So your strip set is important. Some things that have helped other people with the strip set is reaching their rod out while they're fishing. That way they have less of a tendency to want to come up. If it's here, you're so used to doing this, you could do it. Here, you're out in front and it'll help you kind of get into that load on that fish through the strip set. The other thing is most people think they feel a little tension, that's him. No, no, no. We need to strip through and really feel these fish a lot of the times. The longer the cast, the more you have to strip through the fish. You have more stretch, the further they eat away from you. You know, you're going to have stretch, you're going to have big belly sweeping on that current, and you've got to get tension to penetrate the hook. That's why I like light wire hooks. They'll penetrate easier. Um, yeah, they wear out after a while. It takes a lot to wear those hooks out, though. So I use the light wire hooks because I know you're going to need that tension from a distance on the strip. The other thing to keep in mind, if you have fish that are coming out of wood piles to eat a lot of times, you know, or coming straight up off the bottom, you see how they eat. They either come up and down, they wrap into it and go back to their home. Those are fish that take you to tension and will get you set. A lot of fish eat coming towards you. 
or they run towards you for security once they bite. Those are the fish where if you're not stripping the whole time, you're going to lose those fish. You're not going to be able to get tension off. Some fish that swim at you are just so fast, they'll spit the fly out before you ever get tension. You see them eat, they keep coasting towards you. You know, fish typically accelerates into an eat and then coast. Kick the tail hard and go. A big fish kicks its tail hard, it's moving fast. Strip, 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 and sometimes you just see them open their mouth. There goes the fly, you had no chance. But if you don't strip, you have zero, zero, zero chance. Um, and I've also seen it where guys strip, 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 and they're not feeling it. And this happens on the white a lot. Gotta understand, when fish hide in the middle of the water, in the deep water, they come towards you when they bite. So on the white, you see that a lot. Fish eat and keep coming at you. They, oh, they feel a hook, they keep coming at you. So water drops, they go to the middle for security. They always go to the centers for security. So those fish have a tendency to come at you. So you really have to strip on those fish down there to get those hook sets. I've seen guys strip five, six, seven times. By the time they come tight, the fish is basically underneath the boat. Stick with it, strip that fly till it's in your rod tip or you're convinced you don't have a fish. Um, practice the strip set. A situation that I see it happen in a ton too is lakes. Guys, fish eat like this on lakes. They come towards you. When they come towards you, if you don't strip, strip, strip and stay tight on them, you're gonna miss all those fish. So work on it. Lakes are a great place to practice it. Um, but it's just one of those things, you just need opportunity and shots. You've spent 20 years doing this, or 10 years, or five years doing this, now we gotta break every habit you have doing that where you just strip set. The other advantage on a strip set, fish goes, you strip, if he doesn't eat the fly, the fly's still in front of that fish's face. You set the hook or you pull and now your fly's here and you're trying to find that fish again. A simple strip set, you'll see that fish, he'll come right back on it, keeping the fly in front of the fish. Um, hope that helps guys, practice it. Very, very, very important. Thank you.